Hello, and welcome to Firmily Feud. I'm K9 Mustang, and I'll be herding these cats, dogs, burbs, fuzzies, fluffies, and scalies on their way to winning some fun prizes and hopefully making us all laugh a little in the process. For those who are never stuck at home from school and forced to watch game show reruns, the feud works something like this. We surveyed 100 of you awesome furries across Twitter and Telegram with questions on topics like FWA, Furry Weekend at Home, and general fandom trivia. Our firmilies are going to try and guess the most popular survey responses. Speaking of those responses, a huge thank you to, to, to all those who participated and answered our survey. And can I just say, you guys didn't disappoint with some of your answers. I couldn't use them all on the show for obvious reasons. You know who, all who read them. We don't get a single commercial break. Can you believe that? No one wanted any of this prime furry airtime. Well, since none of the major retailers could be bothered to throw us a few million dollars, Firmly Feud is sponsored by us. Check out our awesome convention and fandom merch on constore.furryweekend.com. In true furry game show fashion, Furry Feud was not recorded in front of a live studio audience. It's not that we don't trust the live furry audience, but judging by you guys' survey responses, we were afraid animal control might show up. With that out of the way, let's play the feud. Today we have the Furries Without Worries Firmily and the Posse Firmily. Time for our first question. This one is for Lost and Cinnabar Panda. Fill in the blank. I woke up next to a stranger after a long night on the con dance floor. The first thing I reached for was... Lost. Lost. Water. Number three. Fifteen. Cinnabar. Uh, mm, glasses. No. <laughs> All right, Lost is Furries Without Worry. It's going to play or pass. Uh, what do you guys think? Play or pass? Play it. All right, we'll, go, we'll, we'll play it. All right. Go into Chiswick. Chiswick, fill in the blank. You woke up next to a stranger after a long night on the con dance floor. The first thing you reached for was? My smartphone. Your phone, <laughs> number one answer. Imagine that. Jouster. You, you woke up next to a stranger after a long night on the con dance floor. The first thing you reached for was? My badge. No. Ooh. Not there. Sky T. You woke up next to a stranger after a long night on the con dance floor. The first thing you reached for was? Uh, your paws. <laughs> no. No pause. All right, back to lost. So if you're lost, where did we find you for our show? Um... Surprisingly, under a rock. Must have been a big rock. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you found yourself next to a stranger after a long night on the con dance floor. The first thing you reached for was... For was... How could you reach for? Wallet. Yeah, 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 wallet. What's up with wallet? Wallet. No, I'm afraid not. All right. Pawsies can steal. Pawsies, yeah. you woke up next to a stranger after a long night on the con dance floor. The first thing you reached for was... Um, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. We're, we're going to go with clothes. No, oh. no. Points go to furries without worries. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's see what our furry friends reached for after waking up. Uh, number four, another blanket. I guess it was cold. Uh, you know, you you, you got to keep it cold. Uh, you fell asleep in suit. Maybe you were burning up. You had had the AC set down really low. And number two. <laughs> this ranger of. I mean, oh my God. 
I mean, they're not, they're not wrong. <laughs> All right, question two. This one's going to be for Chizik and Nico. Chizik and Nico. Name your favorite DJ from past Furry Weekend at Home streams. Chizik. DJ Rekka. DJ Rekka. Number one. All right, furries without worries, pass or play. What do you see ahead? I want to pass this one. Yeah, pass. pass. Yeah, I think I'll pass, pass this one because I'm bad with names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm right there. All right, pauses. Start with Nico. Nico, name your favorite DJ from past Furry Weekend at Home streams. Uh, that's going to be difficult for me, but uh, let's go, let's say um, Dodge Horse. Dodge Horse. Uh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. <laughs> All right. Flick, name your favorite DJ from past Furry Weekend at Home streams. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> no, can't pass. I can watch it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta watch Furry Weekend at Home. I guess so. <laughs> Definitely check it out on YouTube, just in case the question ever comes back up. Uh, <laughs> All right, Krixu, name your favorite DJ from past Furry Weekend at Home streams. I'm in the same bind, so I'm just going to make something up. DJ Meow Mix. <laughs> <laughs> I'm convinced there's one somewhere, but let's see what the survey said. Uh, <laughs> no. Good Good <laughs> great, great furry DJ name, though. You should probably, like patent that or trademark it or something because somebody somebody's going to steal that after this all right furries without worries with a chance to steal name your favorite dj from past furry weekend at home streams i want to say i want to say odd job or something for this one but if any of y'all have a different idea it's just something that comes to mind i'm terrible with names <laughs> okay, odd, odd yeah, job idea. <laughs> Odd job? Uh, no. Uh, sorry. We are so sorry, furry DJs. We're terrible <laughs> names. You guys are talented and we love you. All right, let's see what the survey said. Number 10. DJ Kaiser Fox. Number 9. DJ Kanu. Number 8. DJ, um, we're going to go with Nullstruct. <laughs> Number seven. DJ Toby, oh. maybe a dingo ate your baby. If you've never seen Seinfeld, that makes no sense. Number six. Our very own DJ Docs. Number five. How fitting for today. DJ Avian Invasion. Invasion. <laughs> this, oh, yeah. I this, <laughs> yeah, come on, birds. You gotta like, Bad you know, birds, the terrible birds. I did say I lived under a rock. <laughs> birds of a feather, or I don't know, something. Uh, number four, <laughs> DJ Bad Girl. Number three, <laughs> DJ Chair. Of course, if you oh. didn't see that particular stream, yeah, yeah, DJ Chair. He rocked it. Yeah, yeah, definitely one of the tops. And number two, DJ Kaiju or Razor. All right. No points that round. Next question is for Jouster and Flick. Fill in the blank. My milkshake brings all the blank to the yard. Jouster. Dogs. Yay. Number two. <laughs> All right. Flick, one answer could beat it. My milkshake brings all the blank to the yard. The boys? 
<laughs> now, <laughs> this is firmly feud. Firmly feud. <laughs> okay. Furries without worries. We're going to pass or play. I think we're going to play this one. Yeah, I think gonna we play? can play this one. Okay. <laughs> All right, Jouster, like with the horse and the stick and the riding and the poking, or? Uh, you know, the, the 80s, 80s era Joust video game. It's always been a Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, with the pterodactyls that were evil. And the ostriches. Well, those. All right, Jouster, fill in the blank. My milkshake brings all the blank to the yard. Furries. My uh, co-host, uh, K9 Bruce, the German Shepherd, says we'll accept furries and fuzzies. Number four answer. <laughs> Faranach, fill in the blank. My milkshake brings all the blank to the yard. Fursuiters. Fursuiters. <laughs> Number three answer. Yeah, must be a really good milkshake. <laughs> All right, Sky T. I'm My milkshake. Go oh, yes. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, I was going to go with foxes. Foxes. <laughs> no. Whoa. No. Whoa. All right. Lost. Got three on the board and one strike. My mm. milkshake brings all the blank to the yard. Well, we are dealing with milk here, so has to be cats. Has to bring the cats to the yard. Cats? <laughs> Number tigers. five. Tigers. Tigers are cats. Now, don't know if tigers like milk, but hey, brings them to the yard. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Chizik, you got one strike. My milkshake brings all the blank to the yard. It fits lyrically and, you know, being how most of our team is. I'm going to go with birds. Birds? Uh, no, no birds. Jouster, got two strikes. Pawsies could steal. Fill in the blank. Pawsies could steal. Fill in the blank. My milkshake brings all the blank to the yard. I think we're missing an obvious answer here. I'm going to go with boys. I think we they said that in the yeah. yeah, yeah. That one that that one's already that one's already been said. You you, you do get to you, you do get to pick again though, so Okay, thank you. <laughs> um Well they said boys, what about girls? Yeah. Girls. Fair. No. All right, pausies, you have a chance to steal. Fill in the blank. My milkshake brings all the blanks to the yard. Uh, we don't know, maybe horses? Horses? <laughs> No, no horses to the yard today. It means furries without worries gets points. All right, let's see what our friends had to say. Number six, pausies. This one, uh, this one might hit hit home. Pandas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> and the number one answer. My milkshake brings all the <laughs> sneps to the yard. Uh, sneps. <laughs> I guess I'm silly. <laughs> all right. Of course. Question four point values are tripled. Bold. Oh, okay. This one's going to be for Farinok and Krixu. Baronot and Krixu. 
<laughs> Name the store where DJ Chair played their earliest gig. There we go. Lost. Ikea? Ikea. Yeah. No. Aw, oh, Lost thinks we have that Ikea money. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> Name the store where DJ Chair played their earliest gig. Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble. Uh, Alright, we go to the lightning round. Chiswick. Name the store where DJ Big Lots. Big Lots. Uh, no. Though that is probably closer to the budget. Uh Cinnabar, name the store where DJ Panda played, or DJ Panda, see now I've got pandas on the brain, where DJ Chair played their first gig. I like that you have pandas on the brain, but I don't know about this one. Uh, goodwill. Goodwill, let's see. Number one answer. <laughs> All right, pausies, pass or play? Play? Um... Um, I, it could be really hard. I guess <laughs> I think play. We can play. Let's play it. We're going to play. Going to play? All right. Nico, name the store where DJ Chair played their earliest gig. Uh, uh, well, it might not be a brick and mortar store, but how about eBay? eBay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Flick, name the store where DJ Chair played their earliest gig. And just for those at home who don't know, if you happen to have missed this stream, DJ Chair was an epic office chair that filled, what, one and a half, almost two DJ slots in uh, one of our furry weekend at home streams. Um, I believe there is actually video on YouTube of DJ Chair if you if you haven't experienced uh, the chair. So <laughs> definitely, definitely <laughs> name the store where DJ Chair played their earliest gig. Uh, Starbucks. Star Starbucks. Uh, no. <laughs> Kriksu, oh. <laughs> name the store where DJ Chair played their earliest gigs. Uh, Panera. Panera. <laughs> no, afraid not. All right, Furries Without Worries could steal. Furries Without Worries, name the store where DJ Chair played their earliest gig. I have an idea. No, go ahead. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, can, can we confer? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, so if you can, okay, Justin, if you can uh, tell us your idea. Yeah, yeah. My idea is Office Depot. I was going to say that, or Staples, yeah, since he's an office chair. Yeah. yeah. That's probably I better than the one I had, which is Walmart. <laughs> which is Walmart. That's <laughs> how I learned he was an office chair. So, uh, Office Depot or Staples? I'm cool with Office uh, Depot. Office Depot, is that your final answer? Yeah. All yeah. right. Sure. Off, Office Depot. Yay. That's it. Furs without worries get the points. We'll, we'll eventually get points. Oh. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Number five. <laughs> Staples, you okay. would have would have. <laughs> Would have gotten it either way. All right. Number three. Target. target. Okay. Oh, people, re yeah, people really think we got that, that target money, too. All right. Number two. Costco. Oh, no, I'm 
Yeah, I mean, I get, I don't know. There's there's only one. I don't think you're allowed to buy just one of anything at Costco. There's only <laughs> one DJ chair. There can only be. You can have a backup dancer. You can have a lead singer. <laughs> no, DJ chair has to have a crowd. But no, you yeah. can buy one Costco membership at Costco. Oh, yeah, yeah. One milkshake. <laughs> to bring all the snaps and pandas to your yard. <laughs> <laughs> That's our regular game, everyone. With 287 points, Furries Without Worries will be proceeding to our fast furry round. A huge furry weekend at home thank you to the Pawsey family for joining us. We will have some lovely parting gifts for you guys backstage. Wait, one second. Uh, I'm being told that backstage would be their kitchen and that sneaking prizes in might be breaking and entering. Uh, I think we'll just send those prizes via Furry, furry Express instead. Please stay tuned for the Fast Furry Round, where the Furries Without Worries will be trying for a chance to win some sweet, sweet FWA Con Store merch. Now it's time to play Fast Furry. Chizik, you're going to have 20 seconds to answer five survey questions as quickly as you can. Furries Without Worries needs 200 points to win that sweet FWA swag. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, let's get 20 seconds on the clock. Your time will start when I finish reading the first question. Name something you never forget to pack when attending a furry convention. Fursuit. Name the most popular furry convention activity. Fursuiting. Name, how many room parties do you attend during con? Five. Name something you never leave your convention hotel room without. Convege. Convention hotel room without. Convege. What's the most common bedtime for furry convention attendees? 3 a.m. Let's see those points. Name something you never forget to pack when attending a furry convention. You said... Fursuit. Survey said... Name the most popular furry convention activity. You said... Fursuiting. Survey said... How many room parties do you attend during con? Wow. You said... Five. Survey said... Name something you never leave your convention hotel room without. You said... Con badge. Survey said... What is the most common bedtime for furry convention attendees? You said... 3 a.m. Survey said... Awesome! 96 points. Next up will be Lost in Faranach. Lost in Faranach, Chizik did great. You have 96 points. You need 104 for the win. This should be nice. a piece of cake. Or a bird seat. Things will be a little tougher this time because you can't repeat any of Chizik's answers. We're going to give you 25 seconds on the clock. Are you guys ready? Yeah, yeah, we're ready. Your time will start after I finish reading the first question. Name something you never forget to pack when attending a furry convention. Badges. Name the most popular furry convention activity. Dances. How many room parties do you attend during con? Two. Name something you never leave your convention hotel room without. A uh, key card. What is the most common bedtime for furry convention attendees? Uh, 2 a.m. Awesome, with four seconds to spare. Those sounded great. Let's go to the... <laughs> Let's reveal Chizik's answers first. Name something you never forget to pack when attending a furry convention. You said... <laughs> Badges. Survey said... Chizik said fursuit, which was the number one answer. Name Obviously. The <laughs> Name the most popular furry convention activity. You said... <laughs> Dances. Survey said... <laughs> Dances was the number one answer. Yes. Ooh. How many room parties do you attend during con? You said... <laughs> Two. Survey said... <laughs> All right. Three was the number one answer. Chizik said five. You birds are some party animals. Wow. Party Names... avians. <laughs> oh, touche. Name something you never leave your convention hotel room without. You said... 
hockey card. Survey said, room without telegram at a furry convention, right? What is the most common bedtime for furry convention attendees? You said, 2 a.m. We need 20 points for the win. Come Survey on. said, 22. Yes. yes. That's it. Furries Without Worries will be taking home some awesome FWA merch. What sleep was the number one answer? A huge thank you to Furries Without Worries and the Posse for hanging out with us today. And a huge thank you to jo for joining us. We hope you have a great furry weekend at home. Please be safe out there. We can't wait to see each and every one of you at FWA 2022.